Hey, people, Zarthwamp here, and welcome to episode 14 of Tears of the Kingdom. Last time, we invented a flying machine. We flew around the depths. We saved the Great Deku Tree from a phantom Ganon gloom hand sludge that was infesting its stomach, which basically we saved him. We basically revived him. We got the Master Sword, and we also got some memories that gave some context as to what going on with Zelda right now. Anyway, what is that up there? Is that just some weird phantom... I'm sorry. Some con some Sheikah Tech bird? I don't know. But anyways, let's get going. As you can see in the title for the stream, I decided that since we're so close to Evertide Isle, basically, we're right here. Why not just go over there now? Because I am kind of... Because I am curious to see what's going on. Actually, you know what? I think it would actually... No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, I just want, yeah, we'll go with Evertide. I was, I was about to say, basically, how about we go and check to see if we can get some more Fireflies and then upgrade our armor. But knowing that it's Evertide Isle, we'll probably basically get there and just rip, take away all your wonderful, wonderful gear. So anyways, it's telling us there's a shrine nearby. Though I'm not seeing anything. Okay. Wait, yeah, we should just put it there. Okay, let's just go. Oh, yeah, we also got some cool new tech. We got the Shrine Tracker, as well as just some warp points, so that's great. Okay, let's go over. Wrong way, wrong way. Okay, it should be right over here. And it's telling us there's a Shrine of Light nearby. Okay, that radar is getting, is getting pretty loud. Okay, let's see, let's see. Okay, let's grab some more Hylian Tomatoes. Okay, let's get our wonderful, wonderful f creation, okay. Yes, the beautiful Hover Bike 3000. Okay. I know, I'm too lazy to climb. This is technology. It lets us do wonders. And why is it... Why are we getting pushed? Is there a wind? Is there wind? Yeah. Come on, let's turn. Let's turn. And it's saying that there should be something going on. Okay. Shrine below. Hmm. Saying that there's a shrine nearby. But really, I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, we could come back to it later. Yeah, I just don't want our, our wonderful hover bike disappearing on us. Because really, these things despawn so quickly. Okay. Evertide Isle, where are you? Okay, if we bring it right over here, we should have a clean shot to get it. Okay. Wait, was there a fan nearby? Is there a fan near? Okay. We, well, we couldn't really construct, we couldn't construct it for the most part, so. Yeah, so we'd still have to spend some zonite. Okay, let's put you down. And... Okay, Evertile, oh, here we come. Or are we going to have enough juice for it? Well, at least we have this. At least we can just land on that nearby area and then get things prepped. Uh, my controller was acting up just for a second. Ugh. Hey, when that happens, we're basically just trying to do something pivotal and then all of a sudden just, nope, don't want to go up. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. It can't be. It can't be. From the look of it, there's a chasm in Evertide Isle. Okay. No, no. Land, land. And why is it getting cloudy all of a sudden? It says that it should be getting sunny. 
was the game sense that we're going to ever tie out. So it's saying, oh, we're going to get the clouds up. We got to make things dark and foreboding. Just everything's going to go wrong. The lightning's going to come. You know the lightning's going to come in. Your friend needs to be reached. I'll make a note of you. You get a people mark. You're important to be considered a person. Okay, let's go. Can we reach Evertide Isle? Can we reach it from this area? Okay, how much you want to bet that we're going to have to do an armorless, weaponless challenge where we got to navigate the depths in the dark? No light, no salvation, nothing. Okay, yeah, because that, it, because that chasm looks like we're... Looks like it's where the shrine in Breath of the Wild was. And no, I cannot talk tonight. I cannot talk. Okay, we're almost there. Still pretty impressive. Okay. Okay, cool. We can actually not. We can actually use our. We can actually use our pearl pad from all the way up there while we're running a device and. Uh, did it, it, did it just disintegrate in the water? Can Zonite technology not survive the water? Okay, good, good, there it is. And look at that, it's even a miniature boat. Okay, that's handy. Eventide Isle. Okay, how much you want to bet that we're going to get stopped? You have to go into the darkness without your armor, without your clothes, without anything. <laughs> well, it looks like the device is doing, is doing what I was thinking of. And it's gone. Okay, what's down here? Okay. Is there anything? Okay, what's in Ever even tide even tide aisle? I'm gonna call it Ever tide aisle. That's just my thing. That's just how I say it. Okay, it looks like there's something over there. And look at that, some dragonflies. Okay, let's be stealthy. Aha! Why not be why not be smart about this? Okay. Grab some more. Okay, good. Now we can upgrade our final piece of gloom armor. Okay, it said that there was something over here. Oh yeah, I'm definitely seeing something. Okay, though, if it's just a matter of just low Nile cat. Lone Isle Coliseum. Okay, hopefully there's a light route around here somewhere. Yeah, so far I'm not seeing any light route. Okay. No light route. Light route. Where are you, light route? Okay. Times like this, good thing we have... Where is it? The Master Sword. Okay. Bring it! Yeah! How do you like that? 
Yeah, boom. And yeah. Oh yeah, we've got this. Ah. Yeah, go, 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 side on. Yeah. Boom. Okay, Master Ray of Energy. We're probably gonna have to wait now for it. Oh, my bravado. Okay. I know. Boom. Okay. Good, good, good. It'd be nice if we had unlimited charge. Boom. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Tolan, for that fishing blow. Okay, come on. Okay, and we lost another weapon. Boom. Okay, I made more. Zone Knight. Zone Knight. Okay, come on, boom. Come on, come on, Master Sword. Come on, recharge. Come on, we got this guy trapped. Trap him in the corner. Gang up on him. Make him suffer. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, side on. He'll only really actively attack an enemy if they're cornered and helpless. Okay. Let's see. Traveler sword. Okay, electric broadsword. Okay, how many more how many more inches of this Coliseum do we have? Okay, how long is the Master Sword? Okay, eight minutes. Okay, let's see. Come on. I know. Okay, and that one has bomb arrows. Or at least one of them has bomb arrows. Ah, no. Okay, we defeat one. Okay, no. How many more rounds is that are there? Okay, grab some more Zonite. I know, Gust! Okay, no. Okay, come on. Okay, come on. Okay, good. Sorry about this. Boom. Oh, come on. Okay. I know. Oh no, no, no. Okay, shock fruit. 
Okay, wood can con Okay, wood can wood is an insulator. Okay, they're taking that logic with Skyward Sword. Okay, good side on good, good, good. Okay, we've got this, we've got this, come on. Yeah, nice! Boulder hammer. Ah. Oh crap, oh crap, no. Okay, we're surviving by just a heart. Okay, if we can just combo him, we're good. Okay, boom. And, okay. As long as we just have this one guy, we're good. Okay. Boom. Okay, we somehow managed to do it. Uh, okay, I was a little nervous at first, but we did it. And we got a Midna Helmet! Okay, hopefully there's more to this than just, well, Midna Helmet. I mean, don't get me wrong, I mean, Midna's a great character and all, but I think that there should be at least a little more, you know? Boulder Sledge... Okay, let's see what hammers, what weapons we have. Okay, 25. Drop. Let's pick that up. Okay, big soldiers claymore. Okay, anything else? Okay, we got that. And a silver book goblin horde. Man, that's a lot of attack power. Okay, but still, there should be some more. There should be more to this than just, well, single coliseum. Okay, frankly, I think it would be best for us just to keep the plane map up. Hopefully there should be a light route around here somewhere. If there is a shrine on the surface. Okay. Let's sneak up. Okay, we're back where we started. Okay, well, that was something I wasn't expecting to have happen. I was trying to throw a bomb. Okay, that was even better. Okay, get some Zonite out of it. Okay, two pieces of Zonite, nice. Amber, and more Zonite. Okay, anything over here? Anything? Okay, not seeing anything. Okay, note to self. If there's any water on the overworld, well, it, then it's going to be a wall in down here. Okay. Hmm. Anything? Anything? Okay. Okay, I see some sky, so that's good. Let's go up here. Come on. Okay, what's up here? What's in this area of Eventide Isle? Okay, that's going to probably lead to the Coliseum, but there's plenty of torches going up. 
Okay, this is just a little weird because I would have thought there'd be a challenge or something, you know? Oh, you gotta navigate this dark maze with absolutely zero assistance. Mwah ha ha. Okay. Anything? Anything? Okay, we'll run down here. See if there's anything down here. Okay, anything? Okay, this just seems to be another exit to the arena. Ha! Ah. And what's up here? Okay. Anything? No, 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 don't fall off, don't fall off. Okay, there's something over here. Okay, these guys are not all the... Okay, these guys are no pushovers. Okay, let's just grab some of their large zona and get that get out of here. Okay, more zonites down there. Okay, go grab, grab. Okay, another piece, another piece. Okay, go, 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 go. More Zonite, more Zonite. Okay, more Zonite. Beautiful, beautiful Zonite. Zonite, my precious, my precious. Okay. And it looks like there's a sky portion to this area. Okay. Of course they have an area, a sky area. Okay, let's go, go, go. Okay. Okay, we're safe. We're safe. Okay. Oh, there's the light route. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, no, no, no. You already sacrificed enough. Okay, let's get down there and activate the light bloom. Okay, knew there'd be one here. And boom. Okay, let's see. Okay, there's the shrine. Okay. Nice to note, nice to note. Okay, there's a giant Zonite pillar right there. Okay, looks like they want us to go up. But first things first. Okay. Yeah, we should start cooking up some stuff. Okay, where are, where's the where's the stuff? Where's the stuff? Okay, I know we have some Hylian tomatoes that we just got. Okay, where are they? Where, ah, here we go. And let's go. Okay, and where's this gonna take us? Uh, 
Okay, all the way up here. Okay, there are no wings present. Yeah, chances are we're gonna have to do some sort of challenge to get the shrine to appear. Okay, it's in here. Okay, we could construct our vehicle. Boom! Okay, go, go, go! Okay, boom! And take you out! Okay, we'll take those shock fruits. Thank you! Okay, go guys, go! Okay. Boo-hoo! Okay. And... Ow! Boom! Yeah! And finally, bang! No reward. Just the satisfaction that we took out some monster forces. Hmm. Where's the shrine then? Is this the shrine somewhere below us? Yeah, we're right on top of it from the look of it. It says that there's something way up there. Okay. Thankfully, we don't have to spend any Zonite. Okay. Let's go over here. And let's start the construction process. Look at that. We got it for free. Let's go! Okay... Let's see what's in the sky! It says that we should be reaching the sky isle soon. Where is it? Okay. Getting higher. Higher and higher and higher. Okay. Where's our charges? Okay. Hopefully we should be there soon. Okay, come on. Where is our sky isle? Come on, there should be something good on this island. It's in the sky, you really can't reach it all that easily. It's all the way up there. Okay, how long will that energy boost last? How long will it last? Okay, judging from the look of things, we'll actually be able to make it. 
Come on. Come on, we've got this, we've got this. I can't believe we come so far. Where basically there was a time when we wouldn't have been able to even think of getting this high up in the sky without some convoluted sky jumping idea. But hey, but nowadays we can just launch ourselves up and use our magic flying machine to get ourselves so, so high. Okay, we're almost there. Okay, and what does this island have in store for us? Ugly yuck. Okay, well... Okay. Fly, fly, fly. Oh. Well, I didn't even know what was happening until it happened. Hopefully it doesn't, it just takes us back down to the ground. Okay, looks like we're fighting just that thing. Okay, uh... And then my mic is getting caught in my chair. Hate when that happens. Okay, let's try that again. Yeah, you think, oh, hey, I'm gonna go up to the sky. It's all gonna work out. No, it does not work out. It does not work out. You go to the sky, you only find misery. You know what? Okay, key item. Let's go. We can always come back there later. Ah. Okay, luckily he's not chasing after us. At least I don't think he is. Okay. It says that it's below us. Though where? <laughs> Almost as if it's inside the rock. Okay. Maybe it's around the other side. Maybe we just have to go in from the rear. Okay. Anything? Anything? Mighty Thistle. Spring. Wreckage. Look at that, we found a cave. And a shrine. Find a grate. Okay, what hells are they gonna subject us to in this island? Discovery, Eventide Isle Cave. Okay, as long as we don't have to do some survivalist challenge, it, it's all good, it's all good. Okay. 
we're going to need to do something in here. Okay, let's see what's down cave number one. Okay, roasted bass. I'll take that. Okay, just took us around the other side of the cave. Not really any help. Okay, let's see. Who needs ladders when you have the ability to face face the ground? I mean, if you can't face to the ground, then why even have ascension? Okay, well, that was a waste. Okay. Do we have a spring? We do not have a spring. Okay, we have a homing cart. Okay, but wait, wait. We don't have a spring, but we do have... Thanks to the Yiga... Super Spring! Actually, wait. It'd probably be better for us to actually do... Okay. Instant Scaffolding. That's not going to help, but yeah, frankly, it would be cheaper for us just to build our classic, to build this. <laughs> okay, how do we get to this thing, though? Okay, I don't think that we could light on fire. It's wood! Why can't we burn this wood? Shouldn't we, re we be rewarded for our burning of wood? Give us some wood burning, come on! Okay, how do they want us to do this? And the hand signal, and the hand is right there. Okay. The only thing I can think of is basically there'll be something below in the, in the actual pit. Okay, let's go. Back to the abyss. Okay. Let's go. This may not be how the game intends for us to do this, but darn it, we're going to do it anyways. Okay. I know. No. Ugh. Okay, that was a flop. 
Okay, let's try that again, shall we? We will be cheap, darn it! I mean, why give us a chasm if we can't if we can't abuse it? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. Okay. Come on, get, get on, get on. Okay, come on. Come on, we gotta reach the top. We gotta reach the top and do something convoluted, darn it. That is the way of the Zarthwomp experience. We do something convoluted, we do something questionable, and basically, and then we regret it. That is the way of our people. And we lost it, and we lost the craft. Okay, there has to be something for us. Some way for us to reach that thing. Okay. Let's go. Hmm. Okay. Let's do this. Come on. Even the game's thinking to itself, this is a horrible idea. Okay. Okay, let's try it. Ow! Okay, can we do this? Okay, that's not gonna work. That's gonna keep failing us. Okay, can we try this? Can we actually try to do something right? 
Okay. Okay. Well, this is not this is not working. This is not working. Okay, something's telling me that we really can't do anything there. Okay, let's warp up there. And see if we can get some answers on Evertide. Without losing all of our Zonite, trying to figure things out. Okay. Okay, that King Gleox not following us. Good. Okay. Anything? Anything? Anything for us in Evertide Isle? Aha! Okay, I got an idea. And it just might work. <laughs> eh. Okay, that failed horribly. Why give us explosives if we can't use the explosives? I mean, they gave us the long stick. What, what more could we have done? Okay. No, no. Come on, come on. We're almost there. Okay, we have this area. Got bombs, zonite cart, crates. Okay, it's a piece of the sky. Okay, we have that area. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to look this up. I'm going to look this up because apparently Eventide Isle has is, is outwitted me. Okay, T-O-T-K, Eventide Island Shrine. Let's see just what the interwebs has for us. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's see.
Okay, once the apples have been empty. And we get the blood moon. Okay, we have to talk to a guy. Okay, that's what's screwing us over. Yes, yes, the blood moon. Can we please get an option to skip the blood moon? I'm trying to skip the blood moon. Thank you. I'm sorry, just the blood moon can get a little irritating after a while. It's like, oh, hey, we got the blood moon. Okay. Anything? Come on. It said there was a guy that said there was a guy. So, let's talk to the guy. Razor Claw Crab. Okay, while we're here, let's cook up some things. Okay, wild greens. Mushroom skewer. Another mushroom skewer. Okay, let's cook you up. Okay. Nice. Cook you up. Okay, another one. Okay, nice. Okay, more stealth. Okay, well, this give us... Hey, Komi! Yes, uh, uh, what do you mean? I'm currently on Eventide Isle right now. Though I'm trying to figure out just how to get that shrine, though. Because basically, it's... Because the shrine's in a cave. But yet, I just can't get to it. Okay. More chill. Okay, let's just make some more cooking. Yeah, though, at least they're not taking away our clothes and our armor and our weapons. Ugh. That'd be a nightmare if they did. Yeah, imagine... Yeah, when I came to the island, I was thinking, Oh, great, I'm gonna go into the depths, and it's this... Oh, we will take away all of your cool stuff. You shall suffer. That man was on that island for you. Well, apparently he appears... I honestly don't know. I guess I got lucky. Okay, yeah, he's just hiding out. He fell into the abyss. His tank got swallowed up. It's like it, how in Monster Hunter Generations, basically, with the Narcarcos, where basically it just swallows up a village out of nowhere. Okay, that's a lot of stamina. Okay, let's just put these nuts up. Anything's better than nothing with these things. Okay, saute nuts. Okay, cook you up. To get the shrine, you're supposed to beat all the enemies, then it'll open up. Okay, thank you, thank you. Though, unfortunately enough for me, just, well, a blood moon just happened. But out of curiosity, by all enemies, they, they also mean the King Gliok that's way up in the sky there. Because if that's the case, then, well, it's not going to be fun. But hey, at least... And also, do they count the enemies in the arena below? Because I think they may respawn. Okay, let's put you in. Shimmering fruit. Okay. My shimmering fruit. 
Okay, thank God. Because basically, I do not want to fight a King Gliok. Though I do have a war point up there, just so that way, when we finally do have the equipment to take him on, we can take him on. Okay, spicy pepper. Okay, got some cold resistance out of it. Full fruit. Okay, that's better than nothing. Okay, well, this gift, not him, in the pirate ship, yes, they do count. Okay, good. Well, in that case, we're going on a pirate ship. Shimmering fruit. Let's cook up that yonder girl's bird egg. Omelette. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good. What do you have to say? Well, the mister, you must have a death wish to make your way to this island. You've heard the rumors, right? They say that this is the pirate, the pi This is where the pirates that attacked Lurine Village hide out. I mean, I sure don't want to be here, but I'm on a mission to locate the pirates' hideout for the Monster Control Crew. From what I've seen, this island is a three monster strongholds. Hmm. I do think the pirates' hideout is somewhere on this island, but I can't do a thorough search with these strongholds in my way. Okay, if that's all, then we can take them out. We got the Master Sword after all. Oh, uh, I want to finish my scouting go on already. If only those monster strongholds weren't there. Well, we got that. Well, we let's go get some strongholds down. Okay. <laughs> let's see. Okay, let's get some more mushrooms. Mighty thistle. Come on. Ah. This up. Okay, how, how's the Master Sword doing? Okay, Master Sword has its charge back. Okay. So I don't think the Master is going to be as charged on the surface. Yeah! Boom! And hello! Okay, where's the other one? Okay, there should be at least one more monster. I try it's a moblin or something big. I think it would be best for us to take something. Okay, where's one of our attack ups? Actually, we'll go defense up. Okay. Yeah, go Sidon! Yeah, one thing I've noticed about Sidon is that he doesn't like to attack enemies on his own. No, instead Sidon waits until basically so, until the enemies are cornered and helpless, and then he starts wailing on them. Basically, Sidon's that one guy where basically he talks a big game, but basically, but when it comes to fighting one v one, he's just gonna run away. But then when his oppo but then when his enemies down, basically they're weakened, then he runs up and delivers the final kick. Okay, come on, fall. Yes! Okay, one down. What's in this chest? Okay, th oh, ten bomb flowers. That is a true treasure right there. Okay, long stick. Something there. Okay, I guess they, I guess when I took out the fortress up there, it just counted. So we're not going to fight them again. Okay, but at least with Tolan on our side, we can we can make it for it. One thing I have to say is Tolan has been a very reliable partner, basically, because unlike Sidon, who basically just stays back, Tolan actually does try to attack. Okay. Traveler Sword, Gloom Sword. Come on. No! Come back, I just want to fuse it. Okay. Come on, bring it. Boom! Just side on just tag teaming. He only likes fighting choochers, remember? Yeah, exactly. Side on will only fight something that's weaker than him. If it's stronger than him, no, he's not going to fight it. Sidon is basic. Yeah, really. Sidon just, he really does take the philosophy of I'm not going to attack something that basically 
could kill me, seriously. Okay. Let's see what other enemies we've got going. Oh. Go, Tolan! Whoa. Okay. Okay, no, no. Come on, someone help. Sidon, what are you doing? Okay, that should give us some advantage. Okay. Good, good. Okay, boom. Okay, that horn's gonna come in real handy. Okay, thank you, Astral Projections. These things are really helpful because they just help take the heat off of you. Moblin Guts. Black Moblin Horn. Looks like a pine cone to me. Okay. Aha! Bye! And... Boom! Okay, there's still one more guy. Looks like the other one didn't die. Well, now he's dead. Okay. Wait, what's that noise? Is that like explosions going on? Okay. Yeah, I think they want us to talk to that guy, and they'll be like, oh, hey, I know where the pirate ship location is. That's gonna be my guess. Okay. Yeah, the funny thing about that shrine, I actually thought I was gonna have to sequence break it by basically just leveling up to the, basically using my using a flying machine to get up to the ceiling, and then using ascension to actually get up there. Sidon, going for the choo-choo. Go, Sidon. It's your destiny. It's your destiny, Sidon. Tolan stole the choo-choo. Tolan stole your choo-choo, Sidon. What do you have to say about that? Okay, well, anyways, three monster forces are down, even though the Blood Moon respawned one of them. You all see so much more tranquil, could it be? You clear out the monster jungles, all three of them? Oh. Ha! You're amazing! Oh, you don't even know how big a help that is. Perfect timing, too, since I saw a pirate ship coming in. Hmm. But it's strange. As soon as it went around the rear side of the island, it disappeared. Okay, well, into the cave. So where'd it go? Maybe the pirates really do have a hideout on this island, and that's where the ship disappeared to. But that would ma make it the monster control crew's duty to find the and eradicate them. Not just scout things out. I can handle war two enemies, but that sounds like, ugh. I'm so nervous. I'm frozen to the spot. Do I retreat, or do I locate the hideout and try to fight the pirates myself? Ooh, what should I do? Stand around while we do all the work. Let's go. Yeah, he's like, oh, what do we do? Where's the hideout? Meanwhile, basically, just... Meanwhile, I tried to actually blast down the grate blocking off the shrine. Basically, yeah, it's just a wooden grate. Yeah, it can withstand an explosive spear. I see some bo I see some TNT barrels. I see a spear. And that having some Jimmy Neutron brain blast moment where basically just the brainstorm's coming. And no, we're not sticking around for you. Bye. Yeah, though, really, I'm a little disappointed, though, that we didn't get any tasks to go down to the depths. I mean, basically, you'd think that they tried to do some subterranean, some subterranean challenge where it's like, oh, hey, prove your, prove your skill by navigating this dark abyss and taking out enemies. Goodbye! Boom. Okay. Nope, no, no, no. Yeah. Boom. 
let's grab this. Black Boss Bokoblin Horn. Maybe this guy was on the island and, he just, and I just didn't see him. Yeah, and you just didn't see him. Yeah, that's a possibility. Basically, I've had more. T I've had countless times like that where basically I'm searching around trying to find something. But then, lo and behold, it was just right in front. No. Oh, you ass. He's trying to throw fruit at me. Thank you. We'll take those arrows. Okay. Boko Bow is broken. Okay, bring out the construct bow. Okay, well at least we took out the grand the grand bulk of the forces on this I in this area. Okay. Yeah, watch out a Korok is, is over here somehow. Boom! And dead. Uh, okay, where's the last one? There should be one more. Hmm, where are you? Where are you? You should be somewhere. Hmm. Really, you'd think the bow goblins would take a little more pride in their ship, you know, scrape the barnacles off. Hey, I'm pretty sure that if Ganondorf was here, he'd be scraping the barnacles off. Ganondorf would not be riding some barnacle-infested ship. I mean, if Bellum basically this sem this basic this creature that's working off pure instinct he's able to keep his ghost ship in pristine condition now i'm pretty sure that basically ganondorf's troops they could be scraping the barnacles off of the ship and who are you trying to contact okay okay let's try to find a way out Yeah, basically, I have to, you know, I, now that I think about it, Bellum did do a pretty good job of keeping his areas pretty clean. I mean, just Temple of the Ocean King, besides the whole life-stealing curse, it was, in a, it was in pretty good condition. No deterioration. The hallways were pretty crisp. The water was not all that, cur wasn't all that cursed. Just overall, just Bellum, he, kn he knows how to keep elegance about it. Meanwhile, Gandor, just leave the barnacles on the ship. We're not scraping it off. Okay. Yeah, but frankly, just... But now that I think about it, the ghost ship in Wind Waker was technically Ganondorf's, and he kept that in pretty good condition. So really, just guess the Ganondorf of this timeline, he just doesn't... He's just not like it's with Glennius. But then again, he did have that whole lockjaw laugh. Hey! Hey! I can tell just by looking at you that something happened. What's up? A cave hidden around the back of the island, and there was a pirate ship? You beat every single pirate on the ship, too? Holy cow, you're like a one-man monster control crew. I mean, I'm part of a monster control crew, and I still lost my nerve. Thanks to you, I can finally breathe easy. Oh, I should probably give you some token of gratitude. Here, accept this with my thanks. I mean, that's, that's good and all, but it, can we get the shrine? <laughs> What's... We're expecting something that rare, were you? I picked it up on a previous Monster Control Crew expedition. Wait, wait, wait. So you're able to defeat a White Lionel, yet some, yet basically some standard Bokoblins, they're giving you the trouble? I've been holding on to this as a lucky charm all the time, but you'll probably get more use out of it than I would. <laughs> now then, time to put together a report on what happened here and finally leave this island. Once I'm back, I'm turning over a new leaf. No more scaredy sesame. I'm going to be capable and courageous like you. So, basically, you're going to be fleeing a good chunk of fights, firing bombs from a distance, and just relying on Tolan and Sidon to take care of enemies. So, thanks for the help and the inspiration, mister. I hope I'll see you around. Okay. Yeah, let's go back into the ship and see if we can find anything. Okay, Shrine is behind the pirate ship. Okay, we'll check that out. Yeah, I know that this seems a little excessive, but it's easier than basically getting all the way up to the top of the island and then just gliding around. Because in order to do that, we'd have to just either climb it or we'd have to go below. We'd have to go below to the depths and then just face the face the wall and just... I'm not really feeling like doing that. At least that King Gleok doesn't chase us around. 
But still, a Gleok that can fire three different kinds of elements. That is just, that is scary. Okay. Okay, so did they open the grate? Yes, they did! And it hurts! Okay. Eh. Okay, and then once we get out of here, we're gonna go exploring some more depths. Get some more zonite. Get some bat get some batteries. Come on! Why can't we have nice things? Why are, is wood the strongest material in this world? Okay. There. Okay, roasted pro porgy. Mighty bananas. Okay, what's in this chest? Hopefully something good. Silver Rupee, okay, we'll take that. We're gonna need money to buy great fairy upgrades. And speaking of which, speaking of which, I did some research, and apparently the reason why I wasn't able to find any anyone near the stables the last time we did a search was because you have to do the great fairies in a specific order, and the game doesn't specify that. So yippee. But hey, at least we have all the gloom armor, so that's good. Hopefully this is a blessing shrine. Watch out, it's, oh hey, you gotta do a fighting challenge now. You gotta do another survival challenge, because what's Eventide Isle without survival? Okay, it's a blessing. Yeah, watch out, it's another troll blessing shrine. Yoink! Ruby. Okay, at least Raru's not trolling us this time. Okay, I have to admit that was a lot more fun than the than the Eventide Isle challenge in Breath of the Wild. Cause in that one, it just was a little bit more on the stressful side because you go to that, that island, you have nothing. Yeah, you finished the Great Fairy Quest in it not too long ago. Okay, cool. So does it get expensive to upgrade the armor as you go on? Because basically I'm seeing, oh hey, it costs ten rupees. Plus the material, but then just I'm thinking to myself, once you get to armor four, watch out, it's a hundred rupees a pop, or two hundred, or three hundred. Okay, I know that I put something there. You delete that. Okay. Speaking of great fairies, we'll head up to Elden. Okay, wonder what I put there. That put that for. Okay, let's head up to Elden, get our, get our Gloom ar up armor upgraded. <laughs> yeah, but still, just, it was quite an adventure getting the, getting the Master Sword, because just, because I don't know if I did the Lost Woods the way the game intended, but basically, I was exploring the depths near the, near the Korok Forest, and I saw basically something that you could ascend through, so I ascended and just found myself instantly in the Korok Village. I'm not sure if there was a Lost Woods portion in this game that you had to do, but hey, just I'm happy that it was relatively easy. Well, the only hard part was actually really defeating that Phantom Ganon and the Gloom Hands. Just really, it was, it, yeah, it was a twisting, oh hey, you defeat the Gloom Hands, and then boom, Phantom Ganon. Yeah, but still, just I'm kind of disappointed that we didn't get a go that we didn't get a giant spider or something as a homage to Goma because just really Gandorf plaguing the Great Deku Tree. It's not a Zelda timeline until the Great Deku Tree has been plagued. Just, it's the unifying factor of the Zelda timelines. The Great Deku Tree gets plagued in every timeline. Yes, it does get more expensive. How much more expensive? Okay. Yes. Enhance. Yes. Tunic of the Depths. Okay, it's the same animation from Breath of the Wild, so I'm really not watching that. 
No, that's all we have for that. Okay, outskirts stables in the next one. Okay, there's a great fairy find there. Okay. Hmm. Though, frankly, I'm just thinking to myself, we should just search around the, the north a little. See what's going on there. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, we'll search. We'll search for some more great berries. Kakariko Village. Riverside Stable. Okay, Woodland Stable. Okay, sorry about this, sorry about this. You don't really know since you haven't fully upgraded anything. Okay, fair enough. Okay, let's see. It said there was one. No, that's not it. Outskirt Stable. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, the stables should be somewhere near there. Okay. Yeah, I think I remember reading in the guy that said Dueling Peaks was n the next one. Though I haven't really looked into the quests themselves, just that, hey, Dueling Peaks is next. Okay. Yeah, because I just want to get some more defense on my armor, because especially the glue, especially the tunic of the depths and the like, because if we can resist gloom damage, that that's just gonna be huge for just a lot of the the more grisly depth depths areas, especially the final one. Yeah, when I was trying to basically just explore the depths beneath Hyrule Castle, that was a big mistake, because that is definitely an end game area. Okay, that is not a design. That is just a stall. That is just a stall knox. Okay, the shrine should be somewhere nearby. Okay, come, come on, come on. I'm seeing something going on there. Okay. Uh, it's saying that the shrine should be somewhere near here. Okay, uh, that's weird. Uh, is the sh and the the radar's not going off. Is this an event shrine? Okay, is the game trying to fool? Is the game trying to make me a fool? Because really, I will not tolerate the game trying to make me a fool. Okay. Or maybe... No, it, it can't be in the sky. Okay. Maybe it's along the beaten path. Well, let's get going. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. So anyway... Oh, wait, no, no. Nah, I already mentioned that. Okay, fine, Mr. Korok. You, it's your lucky day. We'll help you out. Yes, your friend got separated. Where's your friend? Oh, just on the other side of the river. Yeah. Okay, fine. <laughs> okay. Raft. Okay. Grab you. Just in case we can't reach it. Okay. Good. Good. Come on. Come on. Eh. 
You are not getting away. Come on, you're right near your friend. Yes, why isn't your friend helping out? Better yet, why don't you just take off the backpack? Okay, thank you. Okay, let's see if there's a stable nearby. Hopefully there is one. Okay, Lizzo Falses. Okay. I don't care about your brothers. Let's see, let's see. Okay, there's a shrine nearby. Yeah, though, kind of odd, though, that there isn't a shrine above that light root. First light root that does have a shrine above it, from my experience. Okay, and there's the Great Fairy. I think I marked that shrine off before. Okay, near up above. I think I may have it marked. Well, this shrine at the very least is on our radar. Okay. Do I waste the nine zonite to just spawn in the flying machine? Or do we just climb it? I'm, I'm going to go with just climbing it. Don't want to waste all our zone on just little petty things. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, and I misgaged that ledge. I thought it was going to be a much shorter, it was going to be much lower. Come on, go, 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 go. You know what? Screw it. We're doing it. Okay. We have technology, darn it. Yeah, really, I'm proud of myself for basically ex for coming up with this device. Yeah, because really, just, I was tired of all these times where we just Cliffs were too tall for us, but now no cliff can stand in our way. I originally tried to do a one fan design, but well, it didn't work out so well. Hey, hey, we have the technology. If we if we aren't going to use this Zonai technology to climb to get up ledges that we could easily climb up, then what's the point of having it? Yeah, maybe that's why the, the Zonai technology was lost. Because basically, they knew that it would be overused. Okay, and we get training one. Use the shield! Yes, it, it purifies evil. Heed the instructions. Raru, you know that we have done this shrine before. You, I mean... We've used shields before. I mean, granted, we haven't really been shield bashing, but I mean, just shield bashing isn't as useful as it was in Breath of the Wild. Because, I mean, enemies aren't firing lasers that can be reflected. Yes? Ow! There! Oh, it wants us to reflect the projectile back. Okay, well done. Yeah, exactly. That's pretty much a mo that's pretty much my motto with Zonai technology. Basically, we have the technology. Slam it into characters and or just use it as an elevator. Ow! Okay, let's... Ah! Come on! Yeah! I'm not gonna die to the zone eye shield training! There. OK, 
Okay, come on. Boom. Okay, there we go. If I would have died to that shield training challenge, that would be arguably the most embarrassing death yet. At least we got a charge out of it. Okay. My Zonite shield. Okay, we'll get rid of this one. And give us our light, Maru. Give us the light. Light a blessing. Give us our life. Yeah, but still, I have seen people using these amazing Zonai technology builds where they have just battle robots and death traps and actual airships. Meanwhile, for me, my advancement, air scooter and spring. Just the greatest resource of all, spring. Okay. Let's see if Chancellor Cole's and, and his crew is anywhere nearby. Yep, Chancellor Cole's over here. Seriously, this guy looks like a like some weird looks like some weird Breath of the Wild version of Chancellor Cole. All he's missing is a secondary hat. <laughs> I know that face. Yes, that's a face I know. Ben, come out, he's here. Quickly, we have to take him down. The spear tracks may not be here, but damn it, we'll get Malandus back. Have you come to greet the other Great Fairy? Yes. Oh. I, I must have mistaken. I'm really assuming because the Great Fairy Colterra is such a noble attraction to do would be stable. Oh. Alas, the local Great Fairy has not emerged from a flower bud in quite some time. Quickly, get the fire. You forgive me, you said this before or not, but have I tried destroying the old lady's plum trees in Kakariko? No, I have not, though. Frankly, if it's anything like Breath of the Wild, it's going to be sad. I'm sure she's scared to come out, just like the fairy at the woodland stable. She used to listen to Beat's drum so fondly. Hearing his lively beat again will be just the thing to cheer up, but Beat simply isn't here. Beat is a young drummer who plays for the stable trotters, but one day he took his leave from the troupe. We haven't seen him since. I guess he was, he had some aversion for some reason, that I was worshipping some train demon. Oh yes, as if worshipping a train demon is the worst thing in the world. Oh, well excuse me if I don't worship some car demon, or some stock market demon, or Tom Nook. No, I worship the train demon and that makes me a weirdo. Oh, there was that traveler who heard a drum somewhere. What was it again? Maybe near Kakariko Village to the north, where the road bends around Boru Stand? Okay, at least they gave us that. You want that pumpkin? I'm intrigued. Oh, hello. You're a traveler, aren't you? But I guess we're all travelers, aren't we? In one way or another. Haha. <laughs> you haven't heard, by chance, of a legendary pumpkin, have you? No. What legendary pumpkin? A legendary sword, you say? And it's called the Master Sword. Wait, hey, so then the Master Gourd I'm looking for? Is it possible I misheard that they were talking about the Master Sword? Nah, why, just the other day I heard a rumor about the Master Gourd being in the Lost Woods up north. Yes, you misheard, friend. That's so embarrassing for you. <laughs> well, we already got the Master Gourd. Frankly, now I want to go to the Great Deku Tree demand where our Gourd is. Okay, well, we could go there after we take care of this great fairy. I mean, we're right in the general area. Okay, and there seems to be a shrine up there. Or at least I think I see a shrine. If we see a shrine, then we're definitely tackling it. I mean, why hold back? Okay, but if we can get two great fairies, that'd be great. Basically, guess get some better gloom armor. Hopefully get some gloom resistance out of it. Or at least something that pertains to gloom. Ooh, maybe a gloom attack up. Basically. Okay, and there's a lot of constructs down there that I really don't want to mess with. Okay. Okay. 
You know, Tolan has really been growing on me as a character, you know? At first I had my doubts about Tolan because I was thinking, oh great, he's got some Revali complex about him, basically. But then Revo but then basically Tolan, he went from being the smug Revali-esque character to basically being just the perky, I'm gonna save the world, kid! And, but then but then Tolan really has been proving himself outside of the Wind Temple with his whole Wind Gust ability. Because in the Wind Temple, it was a little bit underwhelming. But out here in the field, it's in a different story. Because just Tolan being able to just blast it. Okay. All right. Yeah, they were mentioning. Yeah, I read in a journal somewhere that the Yiga have been basically utilizing traps. The noble swordsman, scratching for scraps. You found the oldest trick in the book. This is for the boss. Hey, Koga may have been launched into the stratosphere, but that is no reason to get salty about it. Okay. Out of curiosity, Komi, have you fought Koga yet? Okay. Ah, no. Okay. Bring it. Okay, I know. Oh my gosh, that was close. Aha! Good, good, good. It's more of a funny thing than anything else. But hey, Wolf, I can check it out. I mean, we got time. Okay. Anything? Okay, that's what you get for picking up bananas. I just thought it was some random thing. You have a Koga all four times. Yeah, I really did enjoy fighting Koga this time around, though I do have to admit that the fourth fight was a bit underwhelming, especially with how Koga was pumping up, because just it more or less was a thing of just, oh hey, smack Koga's mech into the into the electric wall, and then basically just fight him from there. Though the bow fight was a little irritating, just because I kept on getting sniped by Koga's arrow guys. But still, it, it is kind of weird, though, that Koga's boss fights, now that I think about it, are pretty much like Grunty's boss fights in Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, where basically he has an air vehicle, he has a ground vehicle, he has a boat vehicle, basically utilizes pretty much the same techniques you do. Now I'm imagining just some, Ko some Banjo-Kazooie Breath of the Wild crossover, where basically, where Koga teams up with Grunty. That would be an epic duo. Ba-dum, ba-dum, beat-dum, ba-dum, ba-dum, beat-dum, yeah. Come on, ba-dum, ba-dum, beat, buzz, buzz-a-dum, buzz-a-buzz-a-dum. I'll leave you to it. Whoa! Hey, hey, don't interrupt. I'm busy calling bees with my beat. Come on, don't look at me like that. I, always, I know it's goofy, but I gotta try. See, the conductor in the musical troupe I play for has been a little down. I figured I'd make him honey crepes. That should cheer up my right up, but I can't get my hands on any coarsier bee honey. How am I supposed to make a honey crate without the honey? Frankly, your guy's looking for you. You want to cheer him up? Go to him. This is why you left your band? You're like, he's sad. I need to make him crepes. I'm going to leave the band without mentioning anything about it. That's why I'm trying to lure some bees with my beets. All I need are three combs of honey. Someone said that there are some bee eyes around Kekariko Village to the north near that huge hole that opened up. But that hole is pretty scary. No way am I going anywhere near there. Okay, it said that there's a chasm near Kakariko. Okay. You know what? We're near Kakariko. Might as well. And we need to go to that great... need to go to the fairy statue anyway. So, let's give it a check out. Check out that lady's... Check out Plum Lady. Imagine after every fight, he'd get more crazy and dark like gear him. Yeah, but the thing with Koga is that he was never made to be intimidating, basically. The most intimidating Giga had to be Suga, basically, from Age of Calamity. 
No, really. In Age of Calamity, just... Just, Koga stole the show. Just because he's... Just because it's Koga, for crying out loud. Koga is essentially the Zant... Is the, the Zant of this gener... Is the Zant of this generation. Okay. Okay, where's the plum tree lady's house? Or does it have to be day for the funny thing to happen? Okay, heart container. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Hey, Paya. Ah. Master Link, is there anything you need from me? I haven't discerned anything about Princess Zelda's whereabouts, so I'm not sure I could be of any help to you. Yeah, right, Paya. That's why you haven't found anything about Zelda. Me open Paya's mind. If I don't find Zelda, he's available! I have the power, I have the authority! Yeah, Paya just locks up the village. You're not getting away, Link! How are my plans to investigate the ring ruins as thoroughly as possible? Tori and my aide does not seem to be too happy about it. But I believe this falls under my duty as chief, and so it must be done. That's all I have for you at the moment. Please stay as long as you do, please. Okay. Yes, they're all so high up. Yeah, we'll make a day. Okay, round 12. And then I had to find the plum house because I have a horrible sense of direction. Noon. Okay, thank you, cooking fire. Okay, where's plum tree lady's house? I swear, I have the worst sense of direction when it comes to Kakariko. Even more so with all the stuff going on. Okay, here's Plum Lady's house. Hello, Plum Lady. I'm sure Nana's doing okay. Okay, sorry. Yeah. I'm sure Nana's doing okay. At least she's getting some rest at home. You again? I'm glad I'm just alive and now that Pius our chief. But with all these new faces, I'm worried so about someone who is the Plum Gardens. The British chief, the British chief planted these beautiful plum trees on the day I was born. They're a part of me. I take care of them like I would take care of my own children. Corey over there, over with that survey team, shows my trees proper respect. So I now use part of my garden for her research. She uses it to grow something called a sundelion. It seems important, so I keep careful watching. Don't fuss with it. <laughs> Maybe it's my age showing, but I thought we already talked about this. <laughs> What? Yeah. What the heck? Are these trees invincible? Yeah. They won't burn! What the heck? What? what? Okay, so she's attack Kukos. Ah, what the? I'm surprised! I've been training Kukos to swoop on any rep scouts to try to mess with these trees! You might have gone, Ducks, well, try God, Kukos! Well, admittingly, well, funnily enough, that actually would be deadlier than guard dogs, considering that Kukos are not invincible. How did my God is a mistake someone would make more than once? You haven't hurt, you haven't messed with me! Eh! Come on! Why can't we blow them up? I want to ruin her life. Come on. Yeah, it's not like Breath of the Wild where you could basically just take her plum trees and destroy each and every one of them. And then she's basically like, well, I'm going to lie down and die now. I know, I know. The moment someone tells you not to do something, that's all you want to do. I was young once, but I've been there. But let me tell you, Sonny, you have to grow up eventually. So get your act together. 
Hey, Scout, who tries to mess with my plum trees with another lesson. Now stand up, tree, and listen up. And plum symbolize endurance and prosperity. The way they persevere through the hardships of winter and flower at the first high spring. We Sheikha were once straight out of our king out of the kingdom. We strive to live in harmony with the world above us. We can tell plum trees the silent guidance of our village. These trees were planted by the priest chief. Yes, yes. And we get a, oh my god, we get Keprod, Keprod. Start playing the owl theme. Come on, give us a yes or no. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> Nintendo definitely did this after seeing the seeing you turn those trees into do a speed run. I'm pretty sure that basically everyone has destroyed those trees at least once. And she's just a panic. She's just getting savage and walking away. It's like, screw you. Okay, anyways, let's go up and get those that, that honeycomb. Can't take those carrots. Can't take their stuff. Okay. So anyways, yeah, that was a nice little thing. Thanks for, thanks for the tip. Yeah, but frankly, I'm surprised that the Hylian army hasn't tried to utilize Kuko power. I mean, really, think about it. Imagine Gandorf invades, and just he gets swooped by an entire thing of, uh, by an entire flock of Kukos. Okay. Okay, that was weird. Okay, highly in tomato. Okay, any bees? It said that there were some near the near the chasm. Okay. Ah, there we go. Your bee honey. Screw you! Tell and fight the bees! Okay. Side quest. Honey be mine. Three co combs of honey. Okay. We found one. Now we just need to find the others. Okay, there should be two more somewhere nearby. Oh, do you have any honey? Ow. Come on. Okay, we'll take that. Okay, where's the honey? Honey? Honey, where are you, honey? Stamina shroom, we'll take that. Okay, it should be somewhere near. Okay, we get demonic tree, but we don't get any honey. Okay, honey. Honey. Okay, no honey. This keys. Everything is here except honey. Come on. There. Okay, where's the honey? Honey, do 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 do. Oh, where's that honey? Do 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 do. Okay, there we go. Where'd the skill go? Is it that skill fell off somewhere? 
Did I actually go into the abyss? Okay, ah, there it. Or no, it's not. Okay, this is take us really high up. Okay, that dragon taking a long time to go into that pit. Okay, now that it's day, we should have it should be easier to find any beehives nearby. Okay, highly tomatoes. If you did the drum guy last, this quest would be you'd get more honey from another person. Okay. But still, it would be nice to find some more honey. I mean, they're saying, oh, Basically, the hives near Kakariko's chasm. We're trying to find the hives near the chasm, but it, there really are no hives. There was one hive. There's a deer. You'd think that honey would be in abundance here. Okay. Where are you? <laughs> Boom. Bring it on. Yeah, we're not afraid of you. Ow. Okay, one more should do it. Okay. And it should be dead now. Tree nut, Korok, Leaf. Go, Sidon. This is your chance. Sidon really gets aggressive with those choo choos. Sidon sees a choo-choo, and it's showtime. It's like the choo-choos just are, are his grace enemy. Choo-choos killed his father. Okay. No hive, no hive. Just disappointment. Okay, there's another hive. Come on. Yes, there we go. Two. Okay, one more and we should be good. Yes, tall and fire a barrage of arrows at the bees. The grace threat to us all. Okay, we, are we missing anything? Okay. Where are you? Yeah, exactly. Just Sidon sees a blue choo choo, and then basically all beds are off. He just charges straight for it. The most basic enemy of all. Just meanwhile, Tolan, he's just attacking anything, just with this machine gun precision. Just really, and Sidon, and Tolan does the get hits the head. So, yeah, basically, it's not like Tolan's just doing nothing. Tolan does a lot of work. Ah, there we go. Okay, and our dr and our drummer guy is right over there. Okay, we got your honey crepes. Yeah. Yeah, to appease the great fairy, we got to appease the conductor and his appetite. Yeah, that glutton conductor. Oh yes, you just can't go all you just can't forego your honey t your honey crisps. 
No, it's not like we have a calamity where basically the ground's been upheaved and Gandor threatens to destroy the world. No, you gotta get your honey crepes. Yeah, really, unless this guy is Chancellor Cole in disguise. Just really, that would actually be kind of an interesting thing, basically, of how Gandorf would coincide with other powerful demons like Maladus. Would basically, would Gandorf and Maladus team up to take over the world? Or would basically they be at each other's throats, you know? Because basically, I could imagine Gandorf and Maladus not really wanting to work together. Because basically, well, Gandorf, he more or less is the kind of guy where he'll just use someone and then just cast him aside. Maladus is the same way. So knowing them, they'd probably just be just doing a whole faction sort of war. But if, if it ever came down to that, though, Gandorf would have the would have the advantage, basically, better minions, better subordinates. The fact that basically he'd have he'd have Koga and just and just all and all Malice would have his coal. Let's go, buzza buzza dum, buzza bee dum dum, and honey. Hmm. Yes, here's your honey. Wait a second. What's that smell? Something sweet, maybe. Yes, here's have some honey. Here's your three. Mm. All right. My beat didn't reach the boss, but I guess I got you moving. With these, I can whip up a honey crepe for the conductor of my troop on the double. Here's a little something rubbing me. Take it, all yours. Thank you. What'd you say? The staple drawers are back in action? Then what am I doing here? They need me to bring the rhythm. Why didn't we just tell them this from the, from the get-go? I don't know where they are, but if I hit up every single stable, I'll run them sooner or later. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be long before I can offer the troop clear my services again. Well, until next time, if there's a next time, see ya. Okay, honey be mine. Okay, serenade to, Col to Kachara. Yeah, but really, I have to say that Basically, even though Tolan's ability seems a little underwhelming when compared to Rivali's Gale, I do like it better overall because just it helps you with, with horizontal distance. And not to mention, you can use it more than three times in the, over the course of ten minutes. Rivali's Gale, yeah, it was very helpful, especially in, in Breath of the Wild where just there really wasn't a reliable way to get some good height. But in this game, where getting height is a relatively basic thing, just you you can just spawn it as spring and it's all good. In this game, just, well, horizontality is what you need. Okay, let's go, Kultura, Kultura. And we could have warped back here, but darn it, I just wanted to run. I thought we could make it with these. Yeah, better yet, just whip out the flying machine. Okay, let's talk to Chancellor Cole over there. Ah! That's the man the hour! Look at this! Or rather, listen! It's Beats! Our Star Wars drummer! Beats has returned! He's brought me my lunch at long last! A sorry, troop leader I am! Making my band members worry about me that way! What they really ought to be worried about is our declining audience! But the beat heart of the stable trotters bolsters once more. Three cheers for our beats. I'm bringing over with happiness to the point that I can't keep a lid on it. And I must say, it's good to see a friendly face. So, yes, great fairy. Yes. The bridge of great fairy is broken. How are the, how are the horses to move across? Who said we need horses? Yo, if the bridge is no good, how about we cross the river? That's right, we can cross the river! To the river, everyone! All together now! I'm sure the Great Fairy will give you her blessing when she wakes up! If you'd have the time, I'd be honored if you could be there for our performance! Yeah, you wish we had the option to use Tolan's ability vertically. Yeah, like a little mini gust, but frankly, I think it wouldn't be much different than just using a flame. But you said, so I thought it would be it wouldn't be so hard to cross the river. I see now I'm mistaken. Even if we took our beats wheel our Beezer's wheels and float across the river, the current would run that flat aground. The great fairy's so near, yet so far. I have absolutely no idea what to do. <laughs> okay.
Okay, can it float? Okay. Yeah, too bad we don't have any rockets. Otherwise, we could just catapult right across the river. Okay, we got some Zonai wings. Okay. Put this here. Battery. Okay, put you on top of here. Got a steering wheel, might as well take make use of that. Okay, and boom. Okay, hopefully this floats. Okay. And it floats. Hooray. Okay, it's moving. What? How did you now pull a breeze to get all the way over there? Let's get back right. What, what do you want to across the river? I was bringing it across the river. What are you of the ego mindset of? We don't need no stinking steering wheel. This is no, there's no average wagon or common cart. It's as much of a roaring member as any of our troops. It would be simply a disaster for our traveling band if our tier vehicle ever got away from us. I'm getting it across the river for you. Hop in, we'll take you. Everyone get on board before he changes his mind. Okay, are you? Willing to let us actually transport you. We are taking it to the water. So that way we can get it across the river. Okay, there. It floats. Okay, your breezer is now amphibious. There! There, we got it across the river. Okay, are you happy? Yes, I'm so sorry. I'm carrying it through the air. What do you want from us? I swear, these people, everyone's a critic. Oh, you're rocking our vehicle. Okay. There. Oi. The great, the great fairy. Yeah, yeah. Places, everyone, places, the great fairy needs us. And apparently your cart too. Your precious cart that we could not take ahead. Okay, two great fairies. But hey, at least it's better than having to spend 500 rupees just to get the great fairy to open up. Oh, we've done it! Yowza, I think my heart just picked up the tempo! The musical statics of the stable trotters are the cure for anyone's malice! 
Thank you once again! I prepared a token of thanks so substantial that I hope your pockets are double stitched! You deserve every last bit of it! Thank you! And now that my own pockets are lighter, I can concentrate on the performance! I'm proud to say that the Great Fairy Kotra is at peace! But she wasn't the last Great Fairy still shut away in her flower, but that's why you must be off once again to visit the next Great Fairy! Thank you for your invaluable assistance! Oh, what a feeling! That first breath of fresh air, it's just so intoxicating! The beat of the drum has lit a fire deep in my heart! I hope you're ready for upgrades, because I'll give you an upgrade you won't soon forget. And then, like, I need an adult. I am an adult. Mm. And what about you? Can you feel the hot heat? Are you ready for more? Allow me to enter your clothing. It's the least I can do, but I will need the necessary materials. Ah. Yes, a fair amount. Okay, enhance away. Mm. Okay, we're going to need a frox fang and a dark clump. How much you want to bet that we're going to have to fight those killer frogs? Oh, wait. Can we actually get another upgrade? Okay. It ends. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, Octorok Eyeball for our one Yiga costume. Okay, we're going to need Bright Caps to upgrade our Miner's Top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I don't think we need to do any upgrades for the time being. So how about we go and explore the north? Okay, yeah, there's that one boss arena over there. Okay. There's that enemy there. Okay, just debating about where to go. Yeah, there's plenty to the north. Also to the south, though, as well. Okay, what do you think, Comey? Should we go north or south? I'm kind of thinking... I'm kind of leaning more towards the south, but then again, the north has a lot going on to it as well. North or south? You know what? We're going to go north. Yeah, maybe if we can find a frock, that would be good. A, one of those giant frock enemies. I hope... Yeah, though, basically, last time we tried to fight him, it wasn't exactly the friendliest thing. Okay. Let's see. What mystery... What awaits us down here? Okay, there should be a light route somewhere nearby. Yeah, then mark that one down. Or this one. Or this one. Yeah, we have that one already marked. That one. Okay. Okay. Well, we have plenty of objectives. Yeah, you too, Comey. Have a good night. Okay. Well, looks like we're on different. Looks like we had we had different thoughts. Okay. Well, anyways, let's just check this out. Okay, it's like a it's like an alien world down here. Huh? 
Okay, let's pick up this bow. Let's pick up whatever ones we can find. Okay, looks like there's some monsters down there. Okay, this is def yeah, there's definitely a monster camp. Let's go. Delete the stamp. Okay, nice. Okay. A lot of ones we didn't mark yet. Okay. Okay, yeah, we got plenty we can search. Yeah, there should be an abyss on the surface nearby. Maybe around there. Ah, got an idea. Okay. Yes, the joys of night. Okay. Okay, fine, fine. We'll put on some clothes. We could have just warped up here. Okay, that's not going to help. Okay. Okay, any abysses? Anything? 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 Come on, we got to find something. Well, there is a shrine over there, but not an abyss. We already covered that shrine. <laughs> yeah, if we really don't find it, yeah, if we don't find another abyss soon, then basically. Okay. Yeah, now I'm thinking that would be just better to go into the south. Yeah, dealing with sludge. Something that we really don't have to deal with anymore. Okay. 
Let's see. Just down here. Go, go, go. Okay, just some pose. Pose in darkness. Darkness and pose. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's flip this around, shall we? There we go. Okay, I love this device. I truly, truly do. Okay, which is the closer one? Okay, from the look of it, this is the one. Okay, we should be almost there. Okay, so close, so close, so close. Eh, almost there. Okay, it's right there. It's right there. Hopefully we got the momentum. Okay, where is it? No, that's not why I want to look. Why do we even have that as an item? Okay. Well, it's lost. Hey, at least we have this. Okay, let's light this one up. Okay, there's another one up there. Okay, let's go over there. Okay, this one will take a little bit of time to get to because I am not gonna waste another round I'm not gonna waste another nine zone on another flying machine. We have to conserve. Okay. Okay, no, no, no. Come on. Okay, we're almost there. Almost. Okay, there we go. And now we just gotta climb up that large, large wall. Okay. Almost there. Okay, we're almost there. Good, good, come on. Okay. 
Okay, so close, so close. Oh, come on, we're right, we're pretty much right there. I swear, if you're not a flying machine and going straight at it, you're going to lose it. You're going to lose that light bulb and it's going to be sad. Okay, it should be hopefully right up this ledge. Okay, there we are. Another light route. And with that, another light route is ours. But man, we're going to have a lot of shrines that we're going to be going back to. Okay. And there should be one right below us. So let's go here. Okay, let's search, let's search. Okay, we're not touching that gloom route. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, bomb flower, nice. Okay, the light route should be somewhere close by. Or it could be like that other like that other shrine where we thought, oh hey, a shrine's gonna be here. Nope, no light route. But nope, there is a light route. And look at that, it's own eye camp. Oh crap, that could explode. Okay, good. Ah, no. Okay, dead Bokoblin. More Zonite, nice. Oh, all that beautiful, beautiful Zonite. It's ours. It's all ours. Okay. Wonderful, wonderful Zonite. More large zone. I, hey, I'm more than happy to get our hands on some of that. Ooh, almost forgot that piece of zone. I, it's a large one, too. Heck, we could get maybe another energy unit by the end of the episode. Okay, back up to 61. Okay, let's get going. And boom. Okay, there should be a light route somewhere around here. Okay, let's go. Let's locate that. As we just tear through the south. Heck, we almost... Yeah, we have a good chunk of this area all done. Yeah, there should be another one right around here somewhere. Yeah, but we're doing pretty well with the east side.
Yeah, it's pretty much just the north that's going to be giving us issues. And a little bit of the south. Okay, let's get going. Hey, the more we claim in this abyss, the better. Yeah, let's see what that weapon that knight has. Knight broadsword. Okay, just some frogs. Or maybe not. Ah! Wrong item, wrong item. Ow! Okay, that hurt. It's like in the it's like the intro cutscene in Jack and Daxter, where basically Jack he throws that explosive precursor oh, that precursor canister at that lurker and it just backfired, sending him flying back and then into Daxter. Okay. That was easy. Ow. Okay, thank you. Okay, boom. Okay, get some zonites. At least now we can start collecting from this area. Oh, that beautiful Zonite. It's ours now. Rock hammer. Boom. More. More. Even more. Okay, it should be somewhere near. Okay. And look at that, another Ega base. And it's right near a light route. Bandana Tano Mine. Okay. Yes, yes, Zonite. Oh no, is he going to give us an explanation? Okay, we'll take two. Okay. We'll 
take 20. Okay, perfect. We got one. Darn it, it does have a Ego Schematic. A Ego Schematic would have been very nice. Okay, you're probably a Yiga. Hmm. What are you doing? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, I don't see anyone else down here. I'm drawing schematics for things that use Zona devices. I was trying to figure out the perfect combination of gadgets, but I just keep on coming up empty. Oh, I know. What What do you hate more? Things that are burny or things that are frenzy? Freezy. I'll take... Bernie. Ooh. Interesting. Hmm. Yes, I now I know I can make something good. Wait right here, I'll pull it together. Hmm. You can collect the flame emitter here, and last but not least, try to stake here. Just ambush already. Ambush us already. Ah. Ta-da, it's done! Ah. Thank you, I'm not sure I would ever finish it on my own. Honestly, your feedback was exactly what I needed. <laughs> Who better to desire a trap to defeat the hero than the hero himself? <laughs> Vengeance for Master Koga! Okay, let's take that. Okay, we got plenty of stuff around here. I'm gonna be a blade master. I'm gonna be a blade master. If I keep repeating it, someday it will come true. It's not that I'm unhappy now, but to support Master Koga for a position of responsibility, who wouldn't want that? I think I'll take the exam soon. I just need to find it. I hear, I heard it's behind a waterfall in the Gerudo Canyon, but who knows? No matter where it is, I'm sure the exam will be difficult. But I won't let that stop me. Someday I'll be a Giga Blade Master. Glory Master Koga. Nice! And let's get a schematic, shall we? Stone Bridge Okay, let's go Okay Okay, we could. I think we could actually tame the tame a lot of the south in this area. Okay, let's get rid of that. Okay, let's make our way over here. Yeah, if we could conquer the south, that would be really great. And then we can make our way north. We can loop around here. Take out a lot of different stuff. Okay. Let's get going. Let's get going. Okay. Don't I batteries stuff? And Yiga Fortress. Okay, let's see what the Yiga have for us. Probably another large charge, which is always which is always invaluable. Okay, there's a Bokoblin fortress down there. Okay, this is probably gonna be the fastest way to get to that Yiga fortress. We'll go there. And then we'll see if we can get our hands on another one. Evan Cannon 
can you mine? Okay. Almost up, almost up, almost up, and there. Okay, we reached it. Okay, let's get going. Okay, the Yiga Fortress is right over there. Okay. Yeah, we're really getting the dark. Okay, let's just climb up here. See if we can take out the Yiga. Get another large charge. Which would be really handy. If we, hey, if we could get even one more energy notch. That would be nice. Okay, but first things first. Let's grab these pose. Okay. You know what this calls for? Our handy dandy. No, not our handy dandy. Throw the sword. Not our handy dandy fuse. Our handy dandy flying machine. Yeah, that we are gonna need some more zonite. Ow. Okay, we may be alluring the entire fortress. Okay, nice. First things first. Large crystallized charge. And on top of that, Yiga Schematic. Liftoff glider. Yeah, that could come in handy, at least for the rockets. Okay, let's see what the Yiga Diary has to say. Huge statues have been discovered throughout the depths, and I do mean huge. I've never seen anything this big. These statues have been found long past in the Guru and Hebrew regions, and each appears to be unique. I was told that a strange voice echoes around them night after night, and if a member of Roaches, they lose their soul. But it's dark down here all the time, so I don't know if they're what they're saying night after night. Maybe it's just a story. Glory to Master Koga. Ah, no! Okay, can't control it while using our scope. Ah, there's something over there. There's something over there. Yep, it's the one that we're looking for. And there's something up there. There's definitely something up there. Oh, and there's something down there, too. Okay, let's climb up here. Recharge our stamina and let's get over there. Yeah, that one's lower, so we'll we'll tackle that one second. Okay, let's go, 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 go. Okay, and here we are. Another light route.
Okay. Nothing does my heart better than seeing these lo they, these roots lit up. Okay. Let's get going. Yes, flee. Flee from the light. Okay. Let's go down here. Activate another route. And here we are. Boom! Okay, Sokka's point. Okay, there's definitely something over there. I think for the time being, it would be better for us to focus on just going... On traveling east... On traveling westward. Try to unite this entire point. Get the entire south up and running. And then we can pick up, travel upwards this way, and then make our way towards the north. But then again, there's also one over there. Okay. We'll go to this one next. Yeah, it would also be good to also take, to take some pictures of some enemies. Such as... Okay. No, no, delete. No, no, delete. Delete. But we can take a picture of you now. Okay, get going, go, 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 go. We will come, we already got you. Go, go, go. Go. Okay. There we are. Okay, I think we lost him. It would be nice if we could find some more Zonite deposits. Yes, the glorious Zonite. Wonderful, rejuvenating, refreshing Zonite. Okay, look at that. Okay. Rock weapon. Okay, four more pieces. Okay, anything? Okay, almost fell off. Okay, Master Sword has been restored. Nice. Okay, we got Corrupted Rock over there. Nope, nope, not falling off, not falling off. 
Oh, right. That's why. I'm thinking to myself, why is it so dim? There. Oh, that is nice. Having our full glow back. I'm thinking to myself, why is it so dim? Why is it so dark all of a sudden? But there's our answer. Okay. Yeah, we'll head on down towards the other one. Okay, Tolan, you could recharge a little faster. That would be nice. Okay. Should be somewhere. Okay, there's definitely something going on there. Okay, let's head up there. Activate another light route. No, no, we are not getting corrupted. We're not getting gloomed. Okay, I just want to heard one of those giant frogs. And... Ah, perfect. Okay. Purify this area, but first things first. Another shrine for the overworld. Well, there's definitely something over there. Good thing we have our Master Sword. There! Boom! Pull his bow. Toenail, Chris, big charge, blue Hinocorn. Okay, that was good. Okay, from the look of it, we're not going to be able to get past that. Yep, there's a river. So we'd have to actually access it from that area. From the East Necludia area, right here. Okay, and it seems like we haven't gone down that pit yet. So that's probably going to be the best shot that we have. Well, let's warp over there. We'll knock that out, and then... Ba We'll knock that out, go to a few more abysses, and then we could, you know, maybe do another great fairy. That'd be great. Yeah, you know what? It would probably be best for us to actually go this one. And then warp. And then fly over to the pit. 
and dive down, see what's in it. Hopefully there's a frog, so that way we could begin upgrading our gloom armor. Okay. Let's get over here. Okay. Let's go, go, go. Okay, there's the abyss. Yeah, but really, these chasms have been pretty handy in just helping us pinpoint some shrine locations. Hopefully we'll be able to use these to great effect when we're actually done with all of them. So that way we can just go on a mass shrine destroying rampage throughout all of Hyrule. Okay, almost there. Okay, in we go. Meet a mountain chasm. And apparently there's some lava, some magma down here. A lot of magma. So the strange part is we're not even near Death Mountain. Okay. Let's head over here. And there we go. Even more light root. Okay, we'll put one there. And look at that. A wonderful, wonderful light root deposit. A wonderful zonite deposit. Yeah, a light root deposit. <laughs> Okay. Ah. Okay, Mito la wa Lava Falls. Yep. Okay, stay away from that. Yeah, there's probably another mine over there. And there's another arena. Okay, when weapons will catch fire. But yeah, no problem. Come on, large zonite. We need that large zonite. That wonderful, wonderful large zonite. Okay, maybe we could try to knock this one out. And then we'll make our way over to another great fairy. Okay. More gloom, more and more and more gloom. Everywhere you look, more and more and more gloom. Okay, let's get that. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, we're gonna need to get our way over there. Probably it's another mine, or maybe it's an isolated section. Okay. If we keep heading this way, we should be able to reach it pretty soon. Okay. 
Okay, go. Yeah, and there's another one down there. Yeah, we'll go that one. Then we'll zip over here, grab that one, because I know that one's there. And then we'll get the Great Fairy. Okay. Yeah, we pretty much have the east side licked. And then the south, then the, then the west, and then the north. Okay, let's go up here. Ah, for a second there, I was thinking to myself, oh, hey, cool, you don't lose it, you don't get infected by gloom if it's on a wall. Nope, not even the walls are safe from the gloom. Not even the walls are safe from the gloom. Okay, let's head over here. Okay, we have to navigate all the way around here just to reach that one light route. Too bad we can't wash away gloom. Okay, looks like there's a Tullus over there. <coughs> and a Bokoblin camp. Defense, defense, defense. Ah! Oh, why is this so awkward? Okay, come on. I know, come on. Oh, that's just so awkwardly positioned. Put it on the top of the body. And, oh, come on, really? I can barely see. Amazing aim. Okay, and we have no arrows. Come on, stand still. Stop running in a circle. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, come on. Okay. Oh, great. Thank you. Come on, why is this so awkwardly positioned? Ah! It keeps freezing as it place. You touch it, it freezes. Ah! And there, boom, finally. Down. Give us our large charge. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Okay, and I could have sworn that I saw, yep, right over here. Okay. Let's go, sneak attack. And boom. Yeah, dead. We'll take your zonite. Okay. Talbert. Okay. More zonite. Okay, good. Another piece of large zonite. Come on, more large zonite. Come on, we need the large zonite. Okay, more Lord Zonite. I'm fine with that. Oh, and another piece of Lord Zonite, like music to my ears. Long story stick. Okay, that'll do nicely. Okay, we'll grab that light root. We'll go get another great berry, and then we I think we'll be good to go. Okay. Yeah, I'm starting to think that maybe doing the Gerudo Desert would be next would probably be our best option. Just because, well, We'll ha basically we'll be able to just snag all these shrines up along the way. Yeah, just a whopping five shrines right there. And not to mention it's right there. Okay. So let's get going. See if we can find anything. Okay, we're going to the darkness. Should be brighter here. OK, 
Okay, well, at least we got plenty of postals to work with. A lot of them. Okay, Zonite. We'll take that. Okay, let's claim all these postals. Okay. Soldier Spear. Soldier Spear will take that. Okay. And to make things a little better for us. Thread the needle, thread the needle. How's a light bulb pretty much just destroying this thing? As much as I hate doing that, it's pretty much our only choice. That's the mistake we made. Oh, wait, is that a Yiga Fortress? Yeah, it is! Okay, I think we may have we may have snagged that Yiga Fortress already, but hey. Better check it out than not. Not to mention it does look like it's in the dark. Watch how this is one we already snagged, even in this episode, and I'm basically just being forgetful. But hey, better to check than not to check, as I always say. Hey, at least we're getting some zone I have it, so that's that's a plus. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Okay, we'll head up here. And look at that. Okay, we don't have a mass. We don't have our masks up and running. <laughs> Darn it! That white cobblin is just re is really getting in our way. And we don't have any arrows. So the only choice we have is really just is really trying to do this from a distance. Perfect. Actually, this is a good opportunity for us because Silver Goblin. Nope. There. Boom. Okay. Yeah, we're going to need something stronger. Something way stronger. A 
But these guys hang on. Okay. Boom. Okay, Zonite. Okay, there's the Toter. Okay, some batteries, some gear. Come on! Okay, boom. And hello! Goodbye. You are gone. Yes, and bang! More Zonite. More and more and more and more and more. I know. Okay. Yeah, some more Zonites and bang. Okay, Master's back. There's an arena over there, so that could really help out. Okay. And that fortress is right over there. Okay, yeah. That, oh. Then again, that arena is also right there as well. Yeah, the fort, that one area is a little closer to, the, to us than the arena. Okay. Okay, spikes. Darn it, we don't have any arrows. Let's see. Okay, uh, the range that they got is not open us. Okay, an arrow in the ground would be nice. Okay. 
Let's see what this notebook says. Beware the large roots found throughout the depths. While they are sturdy and can provide a, a safe path across the gloom, they hide danger. Gloom seems to ooze out of the suspicious looking red and black roots. These roots can't be cut down or burned. Safest course is to avoid them. Glory to Master Koga. Okay, first chest. Okay, nice. We can buy two charges. And another Yiga schematic. Scatter trap. Okay. Come on, no, no, no. Ugh, we lost another heart. Okay, let's go to this arena, see what's in there. Crack it down. Then we'll head over to that area. We'll head over to that arena, see what it has. Defeat it. And then I think that would be a good time to call things off. Okay. Yeah, with the Master Sword, I think we can take on any challenge that we have in the arena, except that those Lionels, of course. Secluded Coliseum. Okay. Okay, what lurks in this Coliseum? Yeah, boom! Round two. Okay. Another one down. Okay, Ice Breath Lizalfo's tail. Okay, good. Yeah, we'll game for that light route. That light route is gonna be our end goal for this for this episode. Okay. Come on. And bang. Okay, spiny stone boomerang. And Okay.
Okay, we can just take them out. Ah, no! Okay, two for the price of one. Okay, if we can take this guy out next, that's great. Okay. Okay, I think we have this. I think we have it. Okay. Another arena conquered. Okay. Zolfo's Talon, okay. <laughs> Soldier Broadsword, Reinforced Shield. Okay, let's grab this. Yep. Ravio Hood! Wearing it increases long... Increases climbing speed. Okay, good to note. Your sideways climbing speed. Okay, that's a little weird. But hey, I'll take it. Okay. Let's bring this out. Uh, no, no. If only there was a way to land this thing. You know, that way we're not sailing right to ceilings. Okay. Okay, we should be getting close. gone okay well, well at least we're close yeah I saw the light route right up there Go.
Okay, it should be somewhere. Could have sworn I saw it somewhere. Dueling Canyon's mine. Okay, hopefully we'll have the equipment to actually rebuild for free. We can even put two batteries on. Ah. Okay, it's really messing with the weight. Okay, we just gotta wait for the battery to drain. Well, at least we're already mid-air, so that's at least an advantage. Somewhat. Okay. Okay. There we go. What the heck is happening here? Okay, where's that, where's that thing? Yeah, we had it in our sights, but now it's gone. It's lost. Okay. Okay, come on. Come on. Let's get going. Move, move, move. Hopefully we can reach that that light bud. I swear, all this trouble just for one single bloom. Okay, we're at least almost there. We're at least almost there. At least I hope we are. It looked pretty flat to me, but apparently it wasn't.
there. Okay, at least that gives us a better picture that it's all the way up there. Okay, at least we got the Master Sword back at full power, which is good. Okay, come on, come on, get up there, get up. Up. Yeah, this game is a lot more climbing focused than Breath of the Wild ever did. That's that's all I have to say. All this to reach a single light bloom. All this to reach that one thing. Okay, almost there. Okay, and it's nowhere to be found. I guess when we saw it earlier. But apparently I am the fool. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I can build another vehicle once we get high enough and do and do another search. Okay. Let's go. Okay, every time you think, oh, hey, we're going to find that light route. Nope, it's nowhere to be found. Come on, give us some sort of ledge to lay on. Okay. Come on, no, no. Uh, every time it disappears. Can we not have anything work? Okay, there. Okay, we'll make our way up there, and then see if we can get some leverage on the situation. Okay, there's the route. Yeah, it was just hiding. Okay, we're not going to lose it this time. Zo where's the zone I charge? Where's the zone I charge? I'll happily sacrifice a few Zonai charges if it means actually getting up there. There. 
There we go. Oh, just that one tiny little light root. Who would have thought that one tiny little right light root could cause so much blight? Okay. Anyways. We got that. So how about we go back up and get some more charges? Okay, let's go. Yeah, and then in the next stream we can go and get some, and maybe finish up the Great Fairy Quests, get them all done. That way we can tr we can basically get our wep our armor up once we're able to. And then I think maybe it'll be time to go for the Gerudo. Okay, but first things first. Get producing, yes. Okay, nice. Okay, anyways. I think that now would be a good time to end things off. Anyways, I really appreciate that you came by to watch the stream. It was great having you. I hope to see you next time. If you enjoyed the stream, consider following if you haven't already. And without seeing you next time, if you're watching this on YouTube, I really appreciate that you stuck around to watch this episode. You're a great viewer, and I hope you come back for the next one. If you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you want. Without seeing you next time. Bye. <laughs>